Hi, Nick at Clean PC, and today we're going to be doing a Linux distribution review for Linux Lite 5.0. Linux Lite is based on Debian and Ubuntu Linux long term support. Its origin is New Zealand. Currently, today, July 16, 2020, it ranks 23rd on DistroWatch, and they categorize it as a desktop usage, beginner distro, or live medium. Uh, the graphical installer, very easy to use, took about 18 minutes to do the full install on Proxmox, 4 CPU, 6 gigs of RAM. And as you can see, we're booted into the desktop, and the first thing we're greeted with is this Welcome to Linux Lite. Gives you uh, some information, gives you some places to start, support, and contribute. If you don't want to see that uh, at startup, you can just untick this box and hit close, and it'll go away. If you want to look for it, just go to the menu, and you can type Welcome and you're right back there. So as you can see we've got our panel down here, we've got our menu, uh, this will show the desktop, Firefox, our file manager, terminal which we'll go ahead and open up, and over here we've got our updates, network, sound, and then time and date. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to run NeoFetch, and again we can see the OS is Linux Lite 5.0, we're in the Bash shell, 1920 by 1080 resolution. Desktop environment is XFCE. And again, more particulars about the system, which is really nice. And then, as I like to do, we'll run HTOP as we go through the distribution. And again, on boot, using about 617 megs out of the 6 gigs we have. So, pretty solid on resource usage, which is always nice. So, if we click here on Menu, we can see we've got our menu, we've got our favorites, our recently used, all applications. Go to My Computer, go to location you want. We've got settings, where there's a ton of stuff, a very customizable distribution. In accessories, we've got uh, a few things, calculator, screenshot, simple text editor, graphics, we've got our document scanner, GNU image manipulation program, paint and photo manager, Internet, we've got our mail client, support, Firefox, multimedia, we've got VLC, we've got CD Burner, and then in Office, we've got our word processor, our spreadsheet, and our presentation and PDF viewer. System, we've also got our package manager, process viewer, system info, task manager, and terminal emulator. So as you can see, uh, a really nice looking distribution. They've done a really nice job with the graphics and the icons. I'm definitely a fan. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at their software tool. So we've got to authenticate. And we could say yes to update our software sources. It's going to go out, just verify. And then if we choose to install software, it should pop up in just a second here. It'll give us the option to go ahead and choose a package to install. And you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. If we X out, we go back here. We're not going to remove any. We'll just say quit. Also, if we right click, we can see our options here. And we also have the menu. So again, I kind of like this view when there's a lot of stuff. If we look in settings, we can see all the different options that we can customize, which is really nice. And again, there's that light welcome. So lots of stuff in here. Tons of stuff. One nice thing is light tweaks. So in here you can go and you can choose to set these up. Really nice. Definitely an added on feature of this distro. Um, it says it's geared towards beginners. That's probably true, but definitely a lot of nice built-in features that you don't see in some of these distributions. We can go ahead and open up our word processor here. And you can see it's LibreOffice Writer. We'll go ahead and open Calc. All right, we don't want to see any other tips. I don't, so we'll say OK. 
okay to that. Again, this nice feature down here, if you want to go back to the desktop and minimize everything, you just click that, and then everything is minimized. So again, in here, you got VLC Media Player. We'll open up GNU Image Manipulation Program. We have our text editor. We can go ahead and go into the file system, go into Etsy, cron.d, open this file nice and quick. You can also then go back to the desktop and look at our terminal window. So right now with all this stuff open, just over a gig of RAM that we're using. As you can see, we'll open Firefox. So they've got a custom Google search page here. We'll go ahead and give DistroWatch a click. And we can see Linux Lite here. As I said, ranks 23rd. Um, it's kind of interesting. I would expect it to be higher. For me, it's probably in my top 10. I really like this distro, though. Um, so I may be a little bit biased in saying that. But you see all the particulars that they have for Linux Lite on DistroWatch here. Also give their homepage a click. Really nice home page, well done, well designed, very cool. And definitely check out their donate page. So if you install it, you like it, you use it, consider donating. It's a great cause. It tells you all about what they do with the donations. Pretty cool, their road to funding, the different ways to donate. So definitely check it out again with all that open now we're using uh, 1.45 gigs of RAM and as you can see the operating system is still responding well so if we go in we'll just open a couple more things we'll go into control panel again really cool under personal settings we can look at the icons the fonts the overall settings. We could change this if we wanted to. We'll go back to all settings. Again, if you want to customize file manager, you can do that. You can customize the panel. We can look at our display. As we can see, 1920 by 1080. Auto login, the desktop. Our manager, we saw tweaks earlier. Go ahead and look at the settings editor. So, definitely a very nice distribution. Kudos to the development team. They've done just a really nice job with this. Hope you enjoyed the review. Please like and subscribe.